the second law of thermodynamics the second law of thermodynamics describes about more controls on heat and work interaction consider a hot cup of tea kept in a room the tea eventually cools down to room temperature as the heat flows out of it the heat energy given out by tea is equal to heat energy received by the surrounding air so it obeys the first law now assume that the heat can also flow from the room to hot tea and make it hotter here the heat lost by room is equal to the heat gained by tea so the first law of thermodynamics is true for this process the energy is conserved but from experience it is known that it will not happen the above example shows that the process of heat transfer proceeds in certain direction only and not in the reverse direction even though the reverse process obeys the first law of thermodynamics that is the first law does not put restrictions on the direction of heat transfer even if the first law is satisfied it cannot predict whether a process of work and heat interaction will proceed in certain direction or not this limitation of the first law is rectified by the second law of thermodynamics the second law of thermodynamics says that the processes proceed in a definite direction only and not in the opposite direction even if the reverse process does not violate the first law of thermodynamics the second law says that the heat will not flow from the colder body to the hotter body spontaneously that is without any external work the second law also put theoretical limits on the performance of common engineering systems such as refrigerators heat pumps and heat engines the second law was developed in a number of stages by different people like carnot clausius and lord kelvin the history of second law sadi carnot who is considered to be the father of thermodynamics came to realize that some caloric is always lost in a motion of cycle thus the thermodynamic reversibility concept was proven wrong proving that irreversibility is the result of every system involving work rudolf clausius was a german physicist and he developed the clausius statement which says that the heat generally cannot flow spontaneously from a material at a lower temperature to a material at higher temperature lord kelvin formulated the kelvin statement which states that there is no way for one to convert all the energy of a system into work without losing the energy